Now, we've got to talk about The Bachelor. Hey, ha, there were mixed reviews this week about an episode that filmed in Santa Fe. The city of Santa Fe and the state of New Mexico put in 50K each to bring the production here to promote New Mexico ostensibly. Some say the city didn't get much for the money, and they spelled the city's name wrong, in fact, in one part of the show. Uh, do you care whether The Bachelor portrays Santa Fe John Weller? I'm your Santa Fe guy. I'd love to go to you first on this. Did it bother you, the portrayal? Did, was, were the, is it, was it just like... It's The Bachelor. Who cares? You know, one of those things. Yeah, what was, what was your yeah I mean, it kind of bothered me. Yeah. I mean, because I tend to be a purist about sure. I mean, being born and raised You're in town. town. Yeah. You know, I mean, I like people to get it right. Mm -hmm. But I also, you know, in, in some of our discussions around, you know, it's, it's hard to expect more from a reality TV show. Nice. Um, um, and I do think the incentives are always a good thing mm -hmm. because we have to remember that uh, when you film in New Mexico, you're using, I mean, you're using highly paid mm -hmm. union crews. Mm -hmm. the, the union is actually based in Santa Fe. So even mm -hmm. though they got it wrong about Santa Fe, uh, sure. the, the jobs that were created by that episode being filmed here mm -hmm. were good for the economy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. As a PR matter, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's hard to expect more sure. from a reality show. Sure, absolutely. We've got an interesting controversy, Tom, though, outside of the contestants and the meltdown of the young woman in the inside. Is she <laughs> the, going to get up? Oh, what my happened? God. Oh, my God. <laughs> part two on Monday. Um, <laughs> but we've got an issue where Pawaki Pueblo swooped in and offered 330 some odd thousand dollars worth of rooms and food and all kinds of other stuff to house this whole thing, ostensibly taking it physically out of Santa Fe. Is that an accurate portrayal for the rest of the country? Uh, well, you know, is a lot of different questions. Yeah, I, I think yeah. that, you know, what's as a viewer, you know, short term as a New Mexico resident, short term, uh, you just yeah, go, yeah. you feel dirty. You wanted to yeah. take a shower afterwards, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but long term, people are going to remember the vistas and not the crazies, you know, <laughs> that are associated with this program because yeah. the, the views were great. The ballooning yeah. was great. Yeah, it really was. And, uh, was and I think that that will help to benefit. Right. Uh, was it worth the 100000 or the 300000 of in kind, so half a million dollars if you round it all up? Right. Yeah, I think in long term it will be. I yeah. want to jump in Please. before Jeff, but Please. a uh -huh. technical point. Yeah. Well, it is in Santa Fe County. Ah, yes, it okay. Is. Yes, okay. Yes, it is. So it's not, it's, it's a mixed bag. That means something. I'm glad <laughs> you threw that in. The city of Santa Fe who paid the bill <laughs> is going to argue with you. Also, my friend, Javier Gonzalez, he's the mayor. That's right. That's yeah, right. Wait, I know your it's wife right. is from Pawaki, Joe. Exactly. On the PR side of things and how it came out, what did you think when you... You had asked the question, is it yeah. accurate? And of course it's accurate, Gene. It's reality TV. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know. For me, it, it, <laughs> my take on this always was if, if, if you're going to uh -huh. um, you know, sign up to do uh, a, a reality TV show like The Bachelor and then right. on the back end of it, you think that you got like a, a, a perspective on Santa Fe right. that was pushed through a certain kind of lens and warped a little bit, right. I think uh, buyer beware. There you go. But you know, let's be respectful of the audience here for a second. 18 to 34 <laughs> year old women is their primary core of that audience. Uh, I'm sorry, the, prim the core of the, the audience for that show. None of us here are eight, between 18 and 34, but in your opinion, were, was that demographic served? I mean, would, would some, a young woman between 18 and 34 be lit up about Santa Fe if she watched that episode to you? Uh, I, you know, and I guess I'm, I'm missing The Bachelor. Is he really that hot? Maybe so. Right. However, right. Right. <laughs> however, there are two things that, that, that you have to stand up for. Uh -huh. The producers decided to follow and go into the very worst stereotypes yeah. about Mexico, not yeah. New Mexico. And I'm going to stand up for blondes all over the country. We are not stupid. And did they have this woman say the most idiotic things about the state of New Mexico? I'm offended. Yeah. I thought it was dumb, some brand well new. Even new. You know, the whole thing. Let that be the last word. It's perfect. Exactly. It's perfect. You can't talk that. That's right. Nope. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you all next week, Friday night, 7 o'clock, Channel 5.1.